This video is sponsored by Backyard Science 2000. He has a great collection of different chemicals which he sells at an affordable price to various home chemists. You can visit his e-shop. The link to that is provided in the description. Hello friends. In this video, we will make the compound pyridinium chlorochromate. It's a very useful organic reagent used for the oxidation of alcohols to carbonyl. It oxidizes primary alcohols to aldehydes and secondary alcohols to ketones. The chemicals that you will need for this preparation are 184 ml of 6 molar hydrochloric acid, 50 grams of chromium trioxide or chromic acid, 40 ml of pyridine. This reaction involves the preparation of chlorochromic acid and then adding pyridine to it. 184 ml of 6 molar hydrochloric acid is taken in a beaker. With continuous stirring, 50 grams of chromium trioxide is added to the acid. Stirring was continued until all the chromium trioxide dissolves in hydrochloric acid. The resultant solution is the chlorochromic acid which has a deep red color. Chromium trioxide or chromic acid is a very strong oxidizing agent which is corrosive as well as carcinogenic so be extremely precautious while handling the chemical. The solution was then transferred to a bigger beaker and cooled down to around 0 degrees Celsius. After cooling down to 0 degrees Celsius, slowly add 40 ml of pyridine which was already pre-measured in a measuring cylinder. Immediately you see the formation of an orange precipitate crashing out and this is the pyridinium chlorochromate precipitating out. This addition is exothermic and the heat of the reaction causes the crystals to redissolve, resulting in a deep orange solution. After complete addition of pyridine, the beaker was allowed to cool down and this causes some of the crystals to precipitate out. The beaker was then placed in a refrigerator overnight and the next day you can see lot of crystals of pyridinium chlorochromate are formed. The supernatant solution was drained off and the crystals were then vacuum filtered to obtain the final product. This is the crude product that you obtain after decanting the supernatant solution. It has a bright orange color which is very similar to dichromate salt. After vacuum filtration, the dry product is obtained and it was then stored in an airtight container. So that's all in this video. Hope you have enjoyed my video. These are all my Patreon supporters who are financially supporting me so that I am able to purchase new equipments and chemicals required for doing my videos. You can also Support me via Patreon or PayPal. The links of both of them are in the description. Once again, thanks for watching. If you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click on the bell button for notifications. Thank you.